So October 25th marks the seventh year anniversary of my album, The Epiphany of Marcus Graham. That album is an important project within my catalog, personally, as well as uh, with a percentage of my male fan base. So to celebrate, I want to listen to my favorite songs called Desperation, and I also want to provide a little backstory and insight behind that record. God told me desperation was a good thing That in the right context it's progress, it's honest We desire to be made one with another But the truth is we can't pursue until we learn that we have been pursued It's, let me simplify It's like, can't chase until you've been caught by the fear of losing it all But if you've never rolled the dice to spin the wheel, you never win If the appeals never touched you, then how can you feel it? Like, how bad do you want it? How bad do you need it? It? Do you breathe it? Do you eat it? Do you drink it? Do you even know the price? Do you want to hold its hand or rather look in its eye? Would you save for it? Would you pray for it? Slay for it? Chase it for days as your wind right for the pace it might take a while. You need patience. You may believe the value's overrated. Maybe your lust is tainted. Maybe you get frustrated and see some ways you can change it. Instead of giving grace, you manipulate it. And when it doesn't go your way, you hate it. You resent it. You're offended. You started something you don't want to finish. Your intentions were tinted. How you expect something you'll never perfect? How can you protect something you often have wrecked? How can you demand something you've never performed? How can you house what you've never made a home? I released the epiphany of Marcus Graham in a really, really pivotal time in my personal life. The project is about understanding when a man knows he's ready to settle down and get married. Right. So the story is <laughs> I was dating this girl. And up until that time, I had been dealing with multiple toxic relationships. I was wilding. And in hindsight, I was dealing with a lot of things that did not have language, um, including still processing my divorce from a few years back, my first marriage. So anyway, I'm dating this girl and I like her and I start praying the prayer <laughs> and I'm asking God like, yo, is, is this my wife? And God responded to that prayer pretty quickly, quicker than a lot of prayers that I've prayed over the years. And God's response was him asking me questions about myself. Was I able to walk through the process of developing uh, the type of character that could sustain a successful marriage? <laughs> and to be honest, I didn't like that response. I simply wanted God to say, yes, this is your wife or no, it is not. And he did not do that. So this song was an artistic representation of uh, God's response to my prayer and those questions that he was asking me. You know, how bad do you want it? How bad do you need it? Do you even know what it is that you're asking for? And I know that asking those questions wasn't even about like, going through this process and getting me to a place. And then he would be like, I don't think that was the case at all. I think God used that opportunity to plant a seed for me to start mulling through and thinking about if I was willing to humble myself through that process and to also understand that that process would be ongoing. Because not too long after I started dating a girl, <laughs> she ended it. Um, I was wilding. She peeped the shenanigans. She set the boundary. And if I keep it all the way real, like that relationship wasn't going to work no way. <laughs> but that's not what this is about. You know what I'm saying? The good thing about it was I continued to wrestle with those questions. I believe that I was supposed to experience that because God knew that it would lead to that prayer and those prayers would present an opportunity for God to begin asking those questions in return. Because up until that point, like to be honest, I was cool with my toxic relationships. As stressful as they were, it was all I knew. But ultimately, you know, God asking those questions set the stage for when I actually reconnected 
uh, with the woman that would ultimately become my wife. You know, since that time, I had walked through some things and I was much more ready then than I was when I wrote this song. You have to make sure that you're open to whatever answer God wants to provide to your prayer because he knows what he's doing. He know he knows the beginning, he knows the end, and he knows exactly where you are in the process of that. So yo, do me a favor and leave a comment sharing one of two things. Tell me about a time when you were praying for something, doesn't have to be relationship related, but you were praying for something and God gave you an answer completely different than what you were anticipating. Or tell me about when you knew you were ready to be married and what that process was like. And if you've never heard the epiphany of Marcus Graham before, it's available on ArmandWakeUp.com uh, through my band camp. It's also available on most streaming platforms. I don't think it's on Apple Music, but it's on Spotify, Tidal, Amazon, everywhere else. My name is Armand Wake Up, and as always, thanks for watching.